Okay, so if you've ever messed with one of these things, they can be a little bit tricky and encompassing. So I'm gonna show you how this works, and then I'm gonna actually show you a real world application and explain to you what you're doing and why you're doing it. Okay, so first off, we need to remove this. The best thing to do it with is gonna be a pick tool, and we're gonna get in there. Now, it doesn't really matter where you get, but what you wanna do is if you start here at the top, which is down here in this area right here, you wanna move the pick towards the end and pull that out, okay? You don't wanna pull straight back because if you do that, you'll probably bend the clip. If you end up starting down here at the bottom, you can pull it back and then pull it off just like that. Now, you can also, once you remove your line and if you're working on something, you can go ahead and put this in back in here. Okay, so on this, we have three slots on the side of here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our clip and we're gonna put it in between one of the slots. Like you can kind of see, I'll set that down in there. Make sure it's between one of the slots and then we push it in and it goes into its home. Now we can actually take our line and because the line has a bevel to it, when we go to put it together, it'll clip right in there and stay right in there. Now to remove this thing, generally you're either gonna start here or you're gonna start here. In my situation, because it's harder, I'm gonna start right here because most of the time that's where you're gonna be able to get to for whatever reason. Now, when you go to take this out, you're gonna stick your pick or your screwdriver in there and with your other finger, you're gonna pull that out. This way, with this finger right here, it doesn't shoot out into the stratosphere and you're ending up buying another one. And that's how you remove them, super simple. Now you can do this in the car, obviously. It was easier for me to make video of it showing you here on the table than it is to try to hold the camera and pull the clip out. But I'll give her a go and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're working under the vehicle and these are actually transmission lines. First thing you're gonna do is gonna pop this cover off right here. And then your clip is gonna be exposed up underneath there. And we're gonna do our best to get up underneath it with the pick. You're gonna notice how once I got up underneath there, I didn't pull away with the pick. I slid it down towards the opening. So make sure you do that so you don't bend it all up. Bam, got him. Now, no matter if you're working on oil or whatever, because these clips are the same on all of this stuff, you can just wiggle this line and you should be able to pull it out of the holder. It's probably gonna take me two hands, but it will come right out. Okay, before you go to install this, if yours is leaking like mine was, we wanna check the end of this and you see all that rust that's all over that. We want to make sure that we just take some Scotch-Brite or emery, emery cloth and, and just take that little bit of surface rust off of there so the gasket that's down inside there can make a good contact and seal up properly. Now you can inspect your work and make sure it's leak-free. And it appears to be, so we're good to go. Now, once you've taken some of that corrosion and stuff off of there, you can just simply put it back up in there and click it right in. Hey, if this video was helpful, remember, if anybody else can do it, you can do it too. Check the descriptions down below to show how you can support the channel and help us give needy families vehicles all around the country. Remember, God bless and have the best of days.